During the last two years, we've witnessed historic low returns of sockeye to the Fraser River here in British Columbia. This past year, there was just shy of 300,000 that made it back to the river. And right now, sadly, uh, we're bearing witness to what I see as a real and tangible opportunity for the extinction of salmon on the Fraser River. Now, I'm not running around saying that the sky is falling, but I'm looking at numbers and accepted facts objectively. When you have a historic low return of salmon to a river to spawn, logic then dictates that you have a historic low number of eggs being laid. And then following that, you've got a historic low number of wild salmon juveniles leaving the river to head out to the ocean to complete their four-year journey. Now, I've learned that it's an accepted percentage that of all the fish, all the juvenile salmon that leave the river, only one to 4% will return as adult spawners. So one to 4% of a historic low of juvenile wild salmon leaving to the ocean means we're going to see even worse returns when the 2019 and 2020 sockeye return. And we're gonna be reporting again that there has another historic low. And this downward spiral will continue until there are substantial steps taken to safeguard every aspect of the life cycle, of, especially when they're juvenile, when they are the most uh, susceptible to impacts and stressors and to perish. We can't control right now uh, what happens in the ocean in terms of water temperature food availability, but we must identify the things that are within reach, things such as Discovery Island fish farms, because this is something that we have an opportunity to affect change right now within the next week or two as DFO Minister Bernadette Jordan makes a decision on the Discovery Island fish farms. And by removing them, by not renewing the licenses, we can remove the known stressors of sea lice and death from sea lice, either by the physical harm or the physiological changes that occur to them, to the juvenile salmon, of course. But unless we take these kinds of meaningful steps, you and I are gonna be part of the generation that witnesses the utter demise, the extinction of wild salmon on the Fraser River in British Columbia. And I believe future generations deserve more than that. And we need to make sure our leadership uh, understand the critical nature that wild salmon represents to the environment, uh, to First Nations people with food security, to everyone that's ever caught a salmon with your father or your uncle or your grandfather. And those of us that really want to see that tradition continue and to see the environment be enriched by salmon returning to the watersheds and supporting all the other animals that don't have a voice uh, to call out to the Department of Fisheries and Oceans to meaningfully and broadly apply the precautionary principle, which is a tool at hand for the DFO minister to use 